think that we've got to look at all potential energy sources. Uh, the nuclear facilities that we have here uh, are closely monitored. Uh, we have an independent uh, regulatory agency, the, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, uh, that examines uh, how our nuclear plants operates, thinks through all eventualities. Uh, obviously, all energy sources have uh, their downsides. I mean, we saw that uh, with the Gulf spill last summer. Um, but uh, I do think it's important for us to think through constantly how can we improve uh, nuclear technologies to deal with additional safety concerns Are we uh, that people have. You know, we constantly monitor. Uh, I asked this question of uh, uh, our Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Uh, we constantly mo monitor seismic activity. Uh, nuclear plants are designed to withstand uh, certain levels of, uh, of uh, uh, earthquakes. But having said that, nothing's completely uh, fail-safe. Nothing's completely uh, foolproof. Uh, and so uh, each time these kinds of events happen, I think it's very important for us to examine uh, how we can further improve uh, the safety uh, and performance of these plants. Are you at all worried about radiation from Japan reaching American shores? No. Um, I'm deeply worried about uh, radiation effects in Japan. Uh, obviously, uh, first of all, our hearts go out to the, the people of Japan. Uh, they are dealing with a, a, a triple whammy, the earthquake, the tsunami, and, and now uh, the, the, this nuclear uh, accident. Um, so we're providing them all the support that we can. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, they know that, that we have their backs and, and one of our closest allies and closest friends. Uh, and there are some dangers for radiation release that could affect uh, uh, the immediate vicinity uh, of the nuclear plants and potentially uh, could drift uh, over other parts of Japan. But I've been assured that uh, it, uh, any nuclear release uh, dissipates by the time it gets even to Hawaii, much less uh, to the mainland of the United States.